Fernando asks, I'm new to FPV and I'm building my first quad. Do I have to worry about PID tuning? No, 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 no. Please, please, please don't worry about PID tuning when you first get started. The first thing you need to do before you get into PID tuning is be able to fly. The analogy that I'll make is, let's say that you're a 16 year old driver, you've just learned to drive a car, you've just gotten your driver's license, and you can, you're literally just at the point where like, you're just driving down the road, trying to keep it in between the lines and not run any red lights or stop signs and not get any accidents. And you, somebody was to ask you, hey, do you need to be tuning your suspension? No, you don't. The person who needs to be tuning the suspension on their car is a person who's going around a racetrack and trying to shave time. And unless you are a good enough driver or pilot that the PID tune is what's holding you back, then tuning PIDs, you won't even be able to notice that, like put me in a race car and say, okay, Bardwell, we've changed the camber of the front wheels. Tell me if you feel a difference. And I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna freaking hoon it around the track and I'm not gonna notice a difference. I don't know what changing the camber on the wheels does. I can barely keep the car on the track, right? I'm not at the limits of the vehicle's performance and therefore changes to these really subtle things aren't gonna make it, I'm not gonna be able to comment on them. You need to be at least a medium level, like at least a four or five out of 10 pilot before you can even start to notice the differences in the things that PID tuning does. Now, sometimes you'll have a quadcopter with a particular problem. Oh, and PID tuning is the way to solve the problem. And so that's how you start PID tuning is you start slapping band-aids on problems. You got a quadcopter that doesn't sort of hold the nose steadily, maybe raise the eye term. Oh, eye gain. And you start picking that up. But as a beginner, what you should be focused on is being able to fly in the first place. And I think a lot of people, if you're excited about PID tuning, by all means, start learning about PID tuning. Maybe don't start jacking with your own PID tune yet, but you just play, or, or maybe do. You could play with it. But understand that at the beginning, if you start playing with PID tuning, you're likely to make the quad fly worse, not better, because you don't know what a good flying quad actually really feels like, right? I've had beginners hand me quads and say, I PID tuned it myself, check it out. And I've, and it's like, it's all jacked up and they just have no idea. That I mean, on some level, if they're happy with how it flies, more power to them, right? But I think a lot of people, they, they get into FPV, they see all these videos about PID tuning and they go, oh, a little overwhelmed and a little scared. And I would encourage you, don't, don't do that. If it's fine, you don't need to stress about PID tuning. Yeah, uh, just fly the quad. The defaults are very good.